first of all, hello, good morning. It's Friday. Uh, we're approaching Christmas rapidly. Oh my God, is everybody ready? Because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, we've pretty much eliminated all of the craziness, the Christmas crazy we've eliminated. Since it's just me and my mom and dad, and now uh, sweet Kaylin, my girlfriend, uh, we don't have kids. There's no kids involved. So we're going to go to Mexico and uh, we're going to spend our money uh, this year on traveling and food and some good tequila maybe and some nice uh, uh, quality time with some family and friends. And so looking forward to that. Had a great hike yesterday at a beautiful uh, park here that I'd almost well, not, not forgotten about. But since I've been on the east side, it's a little farther away. I, I used to live on 12 South and it was right down Granny White Pike about 10 minutes into a almost 1500 acre uh, state park that's a natural wildlife area and there's bald eagles there now and all this amazing stuff great hike I'll show you some um, videos of that at the end it's really it's really cool a beautiful spot about a four mile hike just perfect close to town trying to get outside as much as possible might go back over there today by myself and do that hike again trying to stay in shape man it is so so difficult you have to stay so uh, disciplined and regimented to, to see the needle move with your weight or your your belly fat or whatever it is. Um, there's always a reason to celebrate. There's always a dinner. There's always drinks. There's always this. There's always that. And and man, when I lost those 20 pounds uh, a few years back, um, I just, I had to stick to that so, you know, on such a regimen. Uh, my whole schedule revolved around that, that plan of, of losing that weight. But I feel better, but man, I'm trying to get back down and, and, uh, it's crept up a little bit and, and dude, it is just so hard to, to get back to that, that discipline. And it's just, it's crazy. Anyway, you know, enough about that. It's just, we're all, you know, everybody's, you know, working on something that that's, that's not easy. Um, and guitar might be one of those things. Let me help you with the guitar. Uh, and I gotta say this, please subscribe. I'm trying to build this channel. We're going to hit 2024 with a vengeance. Um, uh, new website is up. Uh, I'm, I'm not, I haven't even uh, advertised it on social media or anything yet. I'm telling you guys first, check out the new website and let me know what you think. I want to get the comments section back up and running. So let me know what you want to see on this YouTube channel. Uh, you know, I'm going to get back to telling some of these stories and doing some more uh, footage uh, away from this, this backdrop here and just getting some more interesting stuff out there. It's about lifestyle. It's not just about the guitar. It's about all the things that 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 go along with this. It's so it's such a bigger picture than just sitting down and trying to learn something on the guitar. But but that's what we're gonna do. I want to show you today. Uh, that little intro there was just kind of playing around the blues changes, you know, A7. But I want to add some interesting notes to the blues, and this is gonna be something that I I'm not gonna get into all the theory behind it uh, and all that kind of stuff. Cause you know me, I don't really like that, that approach. Um, but I will show you where this stuff's coming from. Cause I think that's important. But instead of just playing, like if you're playing a dominant seven, a seven, you know, we don't we just want to play, you know, that's not going to work because um, it, it'll work for a minute, but then it's going to get real boring. Cause you got to hear this, right? The major third, the flat seven, the root. And then there's these extensions like the 13s and stuff. But we're not going to get into that. We're just going to steal the notes from that. So if I'm playing a more uptown blues uh, uh, song, like maybe kind of like a BB King or something like that, or T Bone Walker or something, because there's a big difference between this. sophisticated voicing right that that 13 or that 9 voicing and so we're going to steal these notes off of this a shape right here this e shaped a chord bar chord we're going to break that down into this right stuff like that or this
watch these notes. That is all of the stuff encapsulated into, into this area right here. The chord, the arpeggio, the pentatonic, the, the major scale, and then we're just adapting that to the flat seven, where we're emphasizing that, that G note, right? And then some of this. You can do the flat three if you bend it a little bit. But I'm eventually gonna put that major third. So try these little phrases like this. major sound and I'm leaning into that major third from the flat three to just bend your ear because if you do this there's no grease there you got to have the grease as uh, Harry Connick I got to work with Harry, Con Harry Connick Jr. a couple weeks ago and played on his new record he goes I played this solo and I, he wouldn't let me do anything uh, a second time I played these solos just learning the song he goes that's it and I was like, man, are you sure? I, I could do a few more. He goes, man, you just left the sock and the gumbo on that one, bro. Hey, total New Orleans cat, man. One of the coolest dudes I've ever been around. Harry Connick Jr. Um, bragging a little bit. I got to work with him, which was awesome. I don't know how he found me. But uh, but um, I guess, you know, it doesn't hurt being out there on the YouTube. Uh, but uh, pretty cool. Uh, anyway, he goes, yeah, you left. He goes, you know what you did, bro? I went, no. He goes, you left the sock in the gumbo. I went, I'm from the Gulf Coast. I can appreciate that. And I think I know what you're talking about. Um, but these notes, man, like this kind of stuff, you know, um, um, instead of just going, you know, okay, that's great. But this, what that does is that makes the more vocabulary you have, it makes each note mean more because you're 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 just throwing them in there in a, in a spicy kind of way. So if I go here, hitting that flat seven, maybe come back down. Eventually going to resolve to that major third. If I come all the way down a major pentatonic, that's okay because I'm bending that flat three a little bit to soften the blow. Then when I hit that major third up to the one at the very end, it resolves and brings your ear back to that. To that, if I to the dominant seven sound. If I play the major style riff, my next note is going to be that G and then a minor thing because it needs to be a little bit lighter and a little bit darker, right? A little bit happy, a little bit blues. It's it's a constant intertwining of these sounds. So using this this six too. that you have. You've got the flat three, but I'm not going to go, I'm going to, all those notes are fair game, right? So that is a minor pentatonic, and here's major, and here's in between.
the D chord too. Watch. Here's D, D7. Because there's your D7. So that little tritone. step above and the, where that comes from is this and then you're dissecting these parts so check out some of these interesting little blues notes right this is a great one that little chromatic today but but check out a great record uh from ronnie earl called i feel like going on man you want to hear some of the baddest ass blues guitar ever uh ronnie earl he had the broadcasters in a room full of blues and all that real northeast uh rhode island uh area blues stuff uh duke robillard all those guys but ronnie earl i feel like going on that's the record you want to check out and it is smoking blues guitar of many different styles uh, exemplified on that record. Uh, check out the links below. Please check out 50% off of Artist Works, the full curriculum, deep dive. Everything I've learned on the guitar up until this point is on there. Um, uh, the True Fire courses, 20% off everything at the GT store on the new website. Now until 1231, um, up until the very end of the year, we're doing sales on everything. All the lessons, everything. The only thing we're not doing sales on are the, are the immersion experiences because that's a full day and it's a lot of time. But um, And check out the immersion experiences. Half day, full day with me, breakfast, lunch, dinner, live music, a wild ride around uh, Nashville, all the guitar stores, guitar consulting, meeting uh, interesting people all over town, two hour deep dive guitar lessons right here in this room, fully videotaped. It's, uh, it's the GT Tour, but we don't leave Nashville. So uh, so <laughs> come check that out. I've got guys from all over the world that come and do that. You know, I've got, you know, guys from uh, uh, California and New York, everywhere in between. Guys have come from Brazil and Switzerland and Australia and, and um, uh, Tokyo, all over the place. So get on board with that. Let's learn together. Uh, keep rocking. There's some stuff I didn't mention. I got a bar that was just opened that I'm invested in here called Barrel Proof. If you come to Nashville and you're in the Germantown area, check out Barrel Proof, the bar. We've got another amazing hotel, boutique hotel that I invested in here with some guys, dear friends of mine from New Orleans. Um, we're opening up an amazing hotel. I've been to the one in New Orleans. It's one of my favorite places. Uh, and so just branching out and, and, and getting all this stuff going. So um, stay in touch. I'm easy to find. Let's light up that comment section down below with some questions. Tell me what you want. I'm going to lean up on you guys to hit the tip jug. Uh, any donations can be made down below. I'm going to add those links back in on this one. It's time to kick ass in 2024. Hope you guys are ramping up uh, for that and winding down for some nice holiday time with your friends and family. Let's enjoy ourselves because life is short. I'm realizing that I'll be 45 years old February 3rd. Um, it's coming up fast, man. So we gotta, we gotta do all the things. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Love y'all. Happy holidays. And we'll talk real soon. All right. See ya. Let's share a little Radnor Lake Gainer Ridge hike with the YouTube family. It's a beautiful day in Middle Tennessee and we can literally see downtown Skyline. The Nashville downtown skyline is right over that ridge, right over there. It's so amazing to have this Radnor Lake. There's a bald eagle preserve here. There's two lakes. Maybe I'll videotape a little bit of that, but I wanted to share this with you guys. Trying to get out in nature as much as possible when we have some downtime. Hope you guys are doing great. Happy holidays. See you soon.
All right, here we are on our descent from the little Gainer Ridge hike, which gets up pretty high, but you can see the lake down there now. It's pretty fun. Um, man, we gotta get out here and do this more often. It's just such a great hike, 15 minutes from downtown Nashville to get out here in nature. But there's the lake. You can see it off in the distance. I'll uh, videotape a little bit more when we get down there. All right. All right, here's the uh, uh, bald eagle nesting area. We made it down from the ridge. Here's the lake, Radnor Lake. And uh, you connect to this road and then uh, walk your way out of the park. But man, what a fun thing to do. Here's the eagle protection area. If we uh, see a nest or something, I'll take a little video of that too, guys. All right. These deer are obviously not afraid of people. They see a lot of action out here at Radnor Lake. Oh, there's a third one right there. There's more up there, yeah. And here's the lake. This is not the greatest view from right here, but it's pretty good. Trying to be a little more cinematic here, I'm jerking this phone around like it's. They're looking for their, their Love it. All right.